Hi guys, here is a quick video on the anatomy of the bicep and how it relates to bicep tendinopathy. So here we have a um, left uh, shoulder girdle. Uh, this is the front view. And um, the short head of the bicep actually attaches to the coracoid process, this piece just through here. Now the short head of the bicep typically isn't involved when it comes to bicep tendinopathies. Um, bicep tendinopathies tends to be dealing with the long head of the bicep and its tendon. Um, so now I will show you where it travels and it'll make a lot more sense once you kind of um, understand its course. So the long head of the bicep tendon travels through the bicipital groove through here. Uh, as it crosses this chicane area, there is actually a transverse humeral ligament which bridges from the greater tubercle to the lesser tubercle. Now, it will, the tendon will actually dive through here and the purpose of that ligament is to keep this tendon in place. Now, as it makes its way into the subacromial space, uh, as the name suggests, sub is below, acromium is the, this little piece here of your shoulder blade. Uh, it'll actually make its way into the final destination, which is actually deep into here. And this area is called your supraglenoid tubercle. So now that is the course of the long head of the bicep. As you can imagine, um, as it travels up through here, any sort of overhead type movements, uh, be it from, coming from the side or coming from the front, will have a tendency to kind of uh, disrupt um, the, where the tendon has to travel to in order to get to its final destination. So any um, particular pathology affecting the long head of the bicep is essentially bicep tendinopathy. Hope that helps. For more information, call us or visit our website.